this in at the top of the balloon. You press in. And then use your other hand and grab the knot on the inside and gently release your finger. Now I'm going to do it one more time. You squeeze the balloon to make it malleable or moldable. And then you use the tip of your index finger and you press down. And you use your other hand to grab the knot on the inside. One more time. Use the tip of your finger, press down, and grab the knot on the inside, and gently release your finger. And now you twist the knot on the inside to create the tulip twist. You twist the knot on the inside to create the tulip twist. I think it's quite a funny little twist also. Reminds me of your belly button. <laughs> well, now we're going to make our simple balloon flower. Once we have created the bud, this will help us in shaping the petals around it. So you begin to bend the balloon and twist at the bud. Bend the balloon and twist at the bud. Remember, keep your twists uniform. Let's do another petal. Bend the balloon. Remember your petals must be uniform. And did you watch the space at the end? It's now expanding. If there was no space, it's going to pop. So bend the balloon and twist. One, two, three. Bend the balloon and twist. One, two, three. And now we will shape the petals around the bud. And there you have your simple balloon flower. We're now going to learn to make a simple balloon sword, which can also be used as a cross as well. Inflate the balloon fully. Once you've inflated the balloon fully, do you remember what we do next? Yes, that's right. We would burp the balloon. Now, sometimes you'd have difficulties with the nozzle of the balloon slipping off your pump. Remember, you have not placed it properly, so we'll have to redo that. So you place the nozzle of the balloon, and you begin to inflate the balloon fully. And now we will burp the balloon. This allows in the expansion of the balloon. And then we tie a knot. The simple balloon sword or balloon cross. Now we will straighten the balloon. Make sure it's nice and straight. And now we're going to learn to make the balloon sword or balloon cross. You bend the balloon once. Now please watch the length that I'm leaving. It's almost three quarters the way down. You bend the balloon and now we're going to bend the balloon upwards all right so I bent it down and now the second part is to bend it up and you're gonna find the middle of the three parts of the balloon you are going to find the middle of the three parts of the balloon now don't be afraid some of you might be afraid it's going to pop but you begin to squeeze and Twist one, two, and three. Squeeze and twist. And now you have your balloon sword. When you make a balloon sword, the handles would be much shorter. But when you make a cross, the side parts would be much longer. Let me show you by making a longer one. Remember, we inflate the balloon fully, leaving just a little space for expansion placing the balloon tightly over the tip of the pump. We inflate the balloon and we burp the balloon. Make a knot. Next, straighten the balloon. And we bend the balloon. Remember, it goes almost three quarters of the way down. Watch the length of the balloon. And now we bend upwards, find the center of the three parts of the balloon, 
and we are going to twist but remember we said we are making the cross so we need a longer part of the balloon so i've almost got it in half now bend for the cross half and bend find the center and twist one two and three and now we have your simple balloon cross the sword would have the side parts much smaller and the cross would have it much larger so we've got your simple balloon sword and your simple balloon cross <music> And now we are going to make a bee, a wonderful little bee to go with your balloon flower. Now remember we spoke about the bee body balloons. These are specialized balloons that has a little so-called stinger at the end. Now you can purchase this at any balloon supply store. If you don't have a balloon with a little stinger or a bee body balloon, you could always use little long balloons which you could also find from a balloon supplier as well and now we are going to inflate the bee body balloon it's not difficult inflating this balloon you could do it by mouth as well you begin to tie a knot and as you would see you would find a little <laughs> bee sting at the end then you take your long balloon and you bring the two ends together and tie a knot we are going to make the wings i always like putting a double knot just in case it might come undone and now you bring the center of the balloon together to the knot and you begin to twist you bring the center of the balloon to the knot and you begin to twist one two three and now we have the wings of the bee then you take a large balloon bubble and twist from your bee body balloon now i would use my four finger span of my hand and you begin to twist one two three so you have got a four finger spaced balloon bubble and a large piece of the balloon bee body balloon and you bring the two together at the joint all right one two three and you've got the two together right here get the wings in shape remember balloon sculpting or balloon molding means to put into shape the latex balloons now these are quite interesting as they can be shaped into many many different postures and positions and now we've got your bee bodied balloon here and then we are going to use our dry eraser marker and we are going to create bee stripes at the end and we are also going to create some eyes right here and a nice bee smile very simple but very effective now i'm going to teach you to make a balloon parrot it is slightly a bit complicated but with practice you would get it perfectly you'd need one fully inflated balloon Firstly, we'd make a small twist. One, two, three. And then you make a larger bubble twist. One, two, three. So we have two bubble twists. One small bubble twist and one large bubble twist. Now I want you to watch very carefully. You take the small twist and you bring it down to the front, creating the beak. Of your parrot you take the small bubble twist and you bring it down to the front creating the beak of the parrot and you join the two together one two three so now you've got the head of the parrot 
with the beak of the parrot. And now we are going to create the body of the parrot. You take your balloon. This is going to be the tail. So you join right here. One, two, three. So this is what you have already. You've got the head right here. You have a circle and you have a piece of the balloon sticking out. Now you squeeze and bring the three parts of the balloon down. Squeeze, bring the three parts of the balloon down. Now watch carefully for proportion because you need to create the tail as well as the ring that the parrot is going to sit on. If it's too large, you're not going to have a big ring. If it's too small, it's not going to look very pleasing. So you have to watch the proportion of the balloon. Now remember, you'll have a ring, a part sticking out, and you have the head with the beak. Bring the three parts together, and now we squeeze and we twist. Remember, squeeze and twist. One, two, three. Now you have your tail, your parrot, and the body. Now we make the parrot to sit into the ring. We'll shape the head. And you've got your simple balloon parrot. We use your marker and we'll create an accent on the beak. We'll create some eyes. And we've got our little parrot on a ring. Let's do it one more time. And remember, practice, practice, practice. You will need a fully inflated balloon. We are going to make a small bubble twist. One, two, three. And a larger bubble twist. One, two, three. Now you have two bubble twists. Take the small bubble twist and bring it down to the join of the larger bubble twist to create the beak. One, two, three. Bring the end of the balloon to the join right here and you're going to twist together. Remember proportion? This is going to become the ring. This would be the body and the tail. So we twist. One, two, three. So now we've got the head and the ring. We've got one part, two and three. We will bring the three parts of the balloon together. Watch for proportion. Body, ring and tail. Squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. One, two, three. And now we shape the parrot onto our ring shape the tail and we accent it with a dry eraser marker create some eyes here and we've got our parrot on a ring next we are going to do a balloon swan this undoubtedly is one of my favorite sculptures and definitely draws many oohs and ahs from all the kids who love balloon swans. Now, to make a balloon swan, you are going to inflate a balloon, but leave a two finger space at the end to allow for expansion. Two finger space at the end to allow for expansion. Burp the balloon, you will tie the knot, and now you will release some of the air at the tip. Now, watch very carefully. You bring the two pieces of the balloon together to form a number six shape. You bring tail of the balloon towards the middle of the balloon. This is going to be the head and the neck of your swan. Then you take the nozzle right here, twist around and make a knot. It's important to make a knot because it can get undone. So you make a knot right here. And this is what you are left with. All right, you've got a circle and a piece of the balloon sticking out. Now, 
from the middle right here you bring it together middle bring together middle bring together when you bring it together squeeze and twist one two three squeeze and twist and now you'd have two handles and a piece sticking out take one circle and place it into the other one circle and place it into the other and you have that it's very simple let me do it one more time one circle and you place it into the other and now we're going to make the neck of the song you take the single piece that's sticking out and you place it in the middle now, this is called sculpting or shaping the balloon and now we're going to create the neck of the swan so you twist here into a little donut shape and you squeeze and this is called balloon sculpting and you squeeze and shape till you get the correct desire and you have your balloon swan now isn't this beautiful Well, I do hope you have learned much in our simple Balloon 101 in the series Go Teach. Well, all you have to do now is to practice, practice and practice. And remember, you can add your own ideas as well as variations into any one of the sculptures you have learned today. Don't forget to join me for Ballooning 102, where we apply gospel messages to our balloon creations. Well, it's me, 